Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we have Amorosa Manigault Newman versus Donald Trump. So you all know who both of those candidates are. Not much explaining needs to go into them. But overall, uh, Amorosa was a part of the Trump administration, uh, pretty infamous now amongst Trump supporters and pretty much Democrats as well. And she is getting back in the news media because she said she has tapes. Uh, I believe she did leak some tapes on uh, various news sources that uh, pretty much, I guess, uh, tried to paint Donald Trump in a negative light. I know one of them had to do with uh, Donald Trump possibly saying the N-word, and that was something that, you know, blew up on the mainstream media, of course, and it was something that many people tried to focus on, but then, uh, of course, drama is always drama on the mainstream media. But Amorosa does have some tapes. I know she did uh, record her firing, but other than that, I don't know the, um, you know, I can't really confirm or deny any other type of things, but that's not really what this video is about. This is a 2020 election prediction between Amorosa and Donald Trump. So I don't think this is ever going to happen, but it's always fun to speculate. And when we look at this map, it's going to be very beneficial for Donald Trump for obvious reasons. We're not going to see a possibility. Um, I don't I don't want to do the leaning likely because, again, that's too in-depth for something that's probably never going to happen. So when we look at this map, it's just going to be red and blue and then we'll go through the toss of states so first of all we're starting off with 7 p.m uh vermont would still go democratic that's still a democratic state and then virginia would be a toss of state west virginia ohio would go republican north carolina would just be a toss up just for the meantime uh amorosa was pretty much uh, the manager for uh african american out outreach for uh, trump in 2016 in his presidential election campaign and I'm not going to say it went too well, considering Trump only got around 8% of the vote of African-American voters in 2016. But still, um, she would do a little bit better amongst African-American voters than other Democrats might, only uh, because she's better able to appeal to them. But other than that, she's not really um, a, a good person in terms of policy. She actually used to be a Democrat before, I guess, the whole Trump wave in 2016, the whole reshaping of politics as we know it today. Uh, she was a Democrat. And that was something that was pretty surprising to me personally because it I didn't really expect, you know, Donald Trump to throw someone on so trusting to his campaign that previously was a Democrat. But still, I don't expect her to win this election whatsoever. So you're going to see that as we go through this map. Pretty much there are Democratic states. I mean, my home state of Maryland, I still know, would vote for Amarosa. Connecticut, Delaware, New Jersey, Rhode Island um, would get closer, in my opinion. But still, um, I don't see like a 50 state sweep. I know some people are going to argue that Trump would do phenomenal and win every single state wall. I mean, we're not going to see that anytime in the future unless Kanye West runs on the Democratic side, which he won't. But um, other than that, we're not going to see that possibility of Trump or a Democrat winning every 50 state, uh, every 50 states. Whoa, that's weird. Um, all 50 states, not every. Uh, but. Other than that, I mean, we're not going to see a political landslide in the future, mainly because we've gotten very partisan. Uh, if you compare, like, the number of House districts decided by 5% or less in 1992 compared to now, there's no comparison. I mean, there were so much more uh, during the Bill Clinton administration, during the Reagan administration, the Bush administration, not 2000 Bush, but uh, pretty much, like, 1988 to 1992. And back then, when House districts weren't as contested, weren't as uh important in terms of the, i mean they were important but um, okay we're getting a little bit off track so let's just get right back to this video because it's not an important topic to talk about pennsylvania and florida both toss-up states for now but we will come back to it and then new hampshire of course is a toss-up state as usual and then uh maine at large is a toss-up uh i believe that first district would still narrowly go to amorosa as crazy as it sounds it's still a very democratic district but the second district of course would be solid for the GOP uh, because it is Donald Trump and he's probably going to carry it in 2020, depending on the candidates, to be completely honest with you. But still, it's very surprising to see how drastic of a swing it was between uh, tw 2012 and 2016, but it pretty much is expected. Donald Trump did change and reshape the entire electoral map for Republicans and Democrats. Then we go over to 8.30. Arkansas, of course, will go to Donald Trump as expected. And then we can go into 9 p.m. So Texas, Louisiana, Kansas, Nebraska, all of Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, Arizona, all go to Donald Trump. New York would still be a Democratic state. <laughs> Crazy that uh, it's possible for a candidate to get this many electoral votes based off um, everything known. But pretty much Wisconsin, Michigan still toss-ups. Uh, Minnesota toss-up. Uh, New Mexico, Colorado, toss-up states. And then we can go into 10 p.m., Utah, Montana, Iowa would become toss-up, and Nevada as well. And we look at this map and we say, well, where can, I guess Amorosa is definitely going to make up the margin for right now because we have California, Oregon, Washington out, Idaho goes to Trump, 
Hawaii goes to Amorosa, Washington, Oregon. I like to refer to her as Amorosa because nobody nobody really refers to her by her last name. Um, so I'm just going to refer to her as Amorosa, but I'll still refer to Trump as Trump. And then California, of course, goes to the Democrats, and that shoots her number up to 183 electoral votes. So that's a considerable amount for someone like Amorosa. But still, Alaska goes to the GOP. So let's be completely honest. I mean, if Iowa went, I should have filled in Iowa. If Ohio went, I should have filled in filled in Iowa, North Carolina as well. Florida would still go to the GOP to completely be completely honest with you. Um, I don't see Amorosa gaining in the Rust Belt whatsoever. I still see the Rust Belt going for Donald Trump. This is his area. I mean, this is where he won back in 2016. Highly doubt he would lose here again. And I don't think he's going to pull a Woodrow Wilson or, um, you know, what Barack Obama did and, lo and win re-election by a smaller margin uh, their second time around. But uh, I do see New Hampshire going Republican, Maine at large going Republican, because I don't see Amorosa doing well whatsoever in a number of these states. Minnesota is, it was a state that Donald Trump lost by 1.5%. I think he could narrowly win over that many voters and put them in his column. Over in Colorado, uh, this is a state, actually Virginia went more Democratic than Colorado, but New Mexico went for the Democrats by 9%. So New Mexico, I still see going Democratic, but Nevada is a state that I see Donald Trump carrying very easily, mainly because that is a state that was very close in 2016. He was supposed to win it based off polling numbers, so I do see him having a great possibility of carrying that state in uh, 2020, especially against Omarosa, but not against other Democrats. Um, but that's, again, another video. Uh, tomorrow, I will be doing a updated Senate prediction and governor prediction. I actually might do them today, but um, I just looked at the date itself, and I was supposed to do it three days ago, but cool. Uh, Virginia, that one right now, that is a very, very uh, a tough state to call, but Virginia, I would say, would go to Trump and Colorado as well, which would finalize her map with Donald Trump at 350 electoral votes and Omarosa at 188. So when we look at this map, uh, not that much of a contested map. We see a, a technical landslide for Donald Trump over Omarosa. So this is a, a very, very interesting map. I think overall she's hated by Democrats, hated by Republicans. I think people just want her to get her voice out um, on terms of the Democratic side. And then they're not going to welcome her back with open arms into the Democratic Party. But uh, still, I don't think she'll be welcome to the GOP either, but Donald Trump would probably do much better than he did against Hillary Clinton, against Omarosa, or against other Democrats. I mean, this is around the same numbers as Nancy Pelosi, so that tells you a lot about the Democratic candidate. So, finishing off the map, 350 for Trump, 188 for Omarosa. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I'll see you all tomorrow.